I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. Just click on the link in the description below or go to my website, AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about ups and downs. Well, as you can hear, I still have a bad cold. And quite honestly, it's been really, really hard to talk this week. And so that's why I haven't been able to do any videos. I got a couple out there, but I wanted to do them. It's just that I can't project my voice. So I'm willing to bet that I'm going to have to pause the video a few times just to clear my throat and get talking again. Of course, I'll let it that out for you guys, but that is why you haven't heard my videos this week. I think I got two out, maybe three. I just can't talk and I feel okay. It's just that speaking for whatever reason has been really, really difficult. So I just want to thank you guys for all the emails that I got with the well wishes and you know, everybody that I talked to in Skype was so kind to me and so um, thoughtful and I had even a couple of people that were like, hey, if I was there, I'd come take care of you. Uh, I got a, you know, you guys are just so good to me and I just appreciate that. Life is always going to have ups and downs. There's always going to be things that happen to us outside of our control that really upset us. Maybe you get fired. I had a friend that got fired from his job recently. Really hard worker and you know sometimes there's politics in the office place and, and in the workplace and that's kind of what happened to him when you're not in that in group they'll look for excuses to get rid of you. Um, sometimes you'll get sick when like uh, obviously this is just a cold but maybe you'll get something more serious other health issues that are outside of your control. Uh, obviously a breakup very difficult where we feel powerless and something that happened to us that we didn't want to takes over our life and makes us feel just completely out of control scared, anxious, confused. I know. And that is why I'm always trying to help you guys learn and educate you guys and be there for you guys. The way we look at things in our life has a huge impact on how we feel. So, for example, my friend that got fired, if he looks at it as this horrible event, and he interprets it badly, it's going to really impact him a lot more than if he said, you know what, there were people at my job that didn't make me feel like I belonged, the work environment was a little bit toxic, and I did a good job, and if they don't appreciate that, then I'm going to go someplace where I am appreciated. When you have a different mindset, it can affect everything, and that's why I always try and help you guys see that with your breakup you want to try the best that you can and it's not going to be easy to view the positive aspects that will come from it as I'm always teaching you guys about psychology and attachment styles and trauma and healthier communication um, how to make your partner feel understood and loved I do this because and I tell you all the time, I'm not here just to try and help you get an ex back. Okay? If that happens, great. I, I absolutely hope it does happen for you because I know how happy it would make you feel. But if it doesn't, maybe it's because you are destined for different things for other people in your life that will be even more amazing than that person was. And you'll have to let go and move on. Uh, sometimes that happens. Uh, I could tell you that I've tried to take all the pain and the hurt and the confusion that I've experienced in my breakups 
and channel it into this. And this is why I love what I do. Because I know where you're at. And I know how hard it is to try and stay positive during these times. But if you don't get another opportunity at getting your ex back, look at all the stuff you've learned. You've learned about your attachment style. What an attachment style is, you probably haven't even really heard of one. You're looking at, you know, it's stuff like in how to be your Superman, to be a good partner, how to be their mountain, and, and it works vice versa for you ladies too. How to be her Superman works just as well for you ladies with your men, and so does how to be her mountain. If you can be a rock for your partner, it's going to help them. So, the long-term changes that you're going to get, the insight, the communication, and all those things that come with it, they're going to change your life. I do have people all the time tell me that they wouldn't go back to that old version of themselves, that they feel like they're awakened, and they don't want to go back to that old life where they didn't know this stuff, and they didn't know about how their attachment to their parents has had a huge impact on their self-esteem, their self-worth, and their ability to connect to their loved ones. So today I have two emails. Uh, the first one is from a guy that I think we've done probably four Skype coachings together, and he wanted to do a follow-up email. He said, Hi Craig, I thought I'd give you a follow-up mail to our coaching. I cannot even begin to describe how you've changed my life and my outlook on relationships. When I came to you, I felt lost and broken. My heart felt like somehow had just shot me in the chest. I think you meant someone. He said somehow. I may not be able to speak, but I am able to read, okay? When I came to your channel, I just couldn't stop watching all your videos over and over again. I have been doing so for the past two months, listening and watching you, and I feel a significant change in myself already. I can only advise anyone to try and Skype with you, Craig. I did it, and it was amazing. I did it again and again, and you made me see more, that just, more than just how to get my ex back but how to deal with my anxiety and improve my emotional self-control. I didn't even know what an attachment style was before I came across your channel. That's funny. Um, I did not even read this email. I, the last time I read it was like four days ago, so I didn't even know he was going to say that, um, even though I said that at the beginning of the video. Taking your advice to heart, I went back to revisit the relationship with my ex-girlfriend and with your help through coaching and videos, finally came to understand why this relationship failed. My deep-rooted anxiety had caused me to lose emotional self-control on multiple occasions, which is probably the main cause why my girlfriend broke up with me. I am filled with joy because I know that I now have the tools to make my next relationship work. Without you and this horrible breakup, I maybe would have spent the next 20 years effing up dozens of relationships. Listening to you explain my own behavior in videos was like eye-opening my eyes for the first time. I literally saw myself in many examples and could think, yes, that's me, I did that. With your help, I even found the root of most of my anxiety which I had buried deep inside. My fear of loss developed after losing a former girlfriend. Yeah, uh, he had something extremely traumatic happen to a girl on the way home from the and um, she wound up taking her own life. It was very sad. I blamed myself internally for years and felt a constant fear of loss with my current girlfriend always afraid of her having accidents, getting mugged or attacked when she was not with me, causing me to be clingy at times. But then again, you provided another perspective on the matter and explained why I shouldn't blame myself so much since my ex certainly had a history of trauma and abuse with her last boyfriend, which probably made it easy for her to get scared away 
with my temper, although I never raised a hand or insulted her as such. But with emotional safety gone, she ejected quickly. You even hinted at why I might be so attracted to her to begin with. She terribly anxious, just like my mom. Also caring, lovely, sweet, and joyful. Again, similar to my mom. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know you are literally saving lives with your work. You certainly improved my life quality by 200%. That's a good percentage. And I'm confident again that I will make my next relationship better and lasting or maybe reattract my ex-girlfriend, although she has left our city. Thanks again, Craig, for your amazing work. You have helped me me heal and improve if I could I would make you an honorary Jedi Master. He is a great example of turning his breakup and into an opportunity to change his life. He's doing it and hopefully he's gonna stick to it because as I because as I mentioned in the video the other day one of the big issues is that you guys will work really hard for about three or four months and then you kind of give up on yourself. And what frustrates me and disappoints me is that oftentimes what happens is that you go back to your old ways. Change and internal change, real lasting change, takes time to really stick and grow, help you grow for the long term and stay. Okay? Because I would much rather see you guys grow and it last a lifetime than four months later, you go back to your old ways. Okay, I'm going to try and push through and do one more email for you guys today. Um, this is another person that wanted to share their story. They say, Hi Craig, I have a story to share. My ex did come back after five months. But, I didn't do the work to keep her, and she left me for good, just two weeks later. That's terrible. I'm sure you're beating yourself up really badly. But, it was a good thing. Or maybe not. <laughs> I knew I had to do something about myself. I needed to change the way I was acting. I started to watch all your videos and I realized that I have an anxious attachment style. After that, things changed. Women started to chase after me, asking me out and wanting to hook up with me. I have never experienced anything like this before. It was like in a movie and I was the star. And so I met this amazing girl. And she is more beautiful than my ex. Smarter and makes me laugh every time we see each other. She makes me feel loved and for the first time in my life, I know how to trust. We are dating four months now, but not yet official. We are taking things slow. But I must say that your videos help me so much because this girl is now obsessed with me and yes, she has an anxious attachment style. She told me that she never met someone like me before. Thanks to you, Craig, I'm now wearing a cape. He's referring to how to be her Superman. Where I talk about cape. Curiosity, acceptance, playfulness, and empathy. And I'm her best option and her mountain. So, things are getting pretty serious and I would like to ask you if you could do a video on how to be in a relationship with an anxious attachment style person. Of course, I'll continue to do videos on uh, the different attachment styles and all kinds of relationship videos are in the works and in the future. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. In your video, Texting Destroys Attraction, you explain everything, but you see, she texts me after the date, she texts me the next day, first thing in the morning, and the day after that, and even when we plan our next date, she still texts me. I don't know how to handle this. See, her interest level is very high, 
And because you know she has an anxious attachment style, she's always wanting to feel connected to you. That's a great thing. When a woman wants to feel connected to you, that's her saying, hey, I care about you, I miss you, I want to see you. And so you always want her to feel like, yeah, I can't wait to see you too. I'm excited to talk to you. I'm excited. I'm here for you. So you want her to feel like, hey, yeah, let her keep coming to you. And you always want to reply when you have a, some free time. You don't want to sit around on your phone waiting to get to her. You know, you have a job, you have a career, whatever it is. So you're simply going to reply when you get some time and be, and, you know, let her know how happy you are to hear from her. I don't know how to handle this. Well, I just said so. <laughs> if I don't reply to her text, she said that this turns her off. But I also don't want to make her lose interest because I reply to all of her texts. Well, you're not going to make her lose interest by replying to her. Okay? She knows that you're busy. And if she doesn't, you know, simply when you're in person, say, listen, I love to hear from you while I'm work, but I can't you know, be on the phone all the time, but as soon as I am able to, I love to, you know, message you or whatever. So you just want to be understanding that, you know, she's getting anxiety and she's going to lose some emotional self-control if she feels disconnected to you. Thanks, Craig, and keep up the good work. You are a life changer. Sorry for my English. It is not my first language. And guys, please do the work. It will pay off, I promise. Don't worry about your ex. Do it for yourself and be the best version of yourself. And he, he calls himself Ratatouille. Okay? <laughs> I've never seen the movie. Um, so, in your situation, you just want to reply back to her when you have some free time. Be conscious that she feels scared when she doesn't hear from you, but also don't let that run your life. You just got to, you know, be patient and understanding and get back with her when you can. But don't ignore her. I would never ignore somebody. Just get with her when you can and let her know that, you know, hey, I love to hear from you and, and keep setting dates with her. And um, I think her interest will continue to go. So if you want to get my help personally, just go to my website, AskCraig.net, sign up for the option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype coaching. And that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and I will talk with you soon.